What's up, guys? We're going to Daily Dose of Classic. This should be episode number four, if I know how to count. Um, I clearly don't know how to DPS because I play a rep paladin, but uh, but maybe I can know how to count. So uh, Daily Dose of Classic number four. I think people have been really enjoying this, so I'm going to keep doing it uh, almost every day. Maybe not every day exactly, but almost every day. Uh, and then I'll keep posting these to YouTube. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, how's it going? Feel free to like and subscribe, all those memes, right? Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, today what we're going to talk about is uh, I, I'm going to keep it short because I've uh, uh, these tend to get a little bit long-winded, so I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter, uh, and I've, I've also been posting more than one a day in order to get caught up, so maybe this will allow people who are watching on YouTube or retroactively, whatever, uh, to get a chance to actually get caught up, right? You like it long, not short? Well, this is, some days it'll be long, some days it'll be short, right? And... Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring up we're gonna bring up an old meme. Okay, it's not super old, but it's 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 kind of an old meme, right? And uh, I want to talk about the concept of the blacklist, right? I want to talk about the concept of the blacklist. And when this thing happened, when this thing was first, uh, when this thing was first kind of brought up. It was whenever there was this whole, uh, like, it was Soda Poppin was coming off of a 20-hour stream, and he was frustrated because of the server stuff or whatever, and, and he's just kind of talking, right? And then what happens is people take what he's saying out of context, people take what he's saying out of context, and try and turn it into something that it's not, right? Um, now, the thing is with the Blacklist... The thing is with the blacklist, yeah, yeah, it's Van Beal, right? Uh, the thing is with the blacklist is that blacklists have always existed, right? I, I've played Vanilla WoW. A lot of you guys played Vanilla WoW, and the people who played will remember. And, and it's, it, this wasn't specific to Vanilla, right? Um, blacklists have always they, they've always existed, um, but sorry, that's muted. Is that muted? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Phone buzzed and it. it Distracted me. Squirrel. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> blacklists have always existed. And what they are, they're, they're things basically that you might have as part of your community, right? Guild, group of friends, whatever, who that, that says, hey, we don't want to group with these guys because of this, right? This guy is a ninja, whatever. We're blacklisting him, right? Uh, this guild is, is toxic. Everybody in this guild is bad, whatever. Uh, they're, they're like, they're, they're bad to group with stuff like that. Uh, and then they might get like blacklisted, right? That's part of the social dynamics of vanilla. Wow. That's part of the social dynamics of original. Wow. Right. And I think that people taking that out of context and trying to turn it into something else of like, Oh, like, uh, because I'm a streamer, I'm going to make everybody hate you or this and that. It's kind of absurd, right? It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I remember, I mean, I, I can name you two examples, right? One, and my point is, is that, that that's, that's not even what Soda Poppin was saying, but that's what everybody was trying to make it out to be uh, that he was saying, right? That's one. Uh, but, but two examples of this. Back on Illidan, right? I played on Illidan for quite a bit in vanilla. Um, and there was this guild, Die, Death's Imperial Entourage. And they very famously had something called the Die Blacklist. And with the Die Blacklist, you had, uh, with the Die Blacklist, you had basically everybody that they were like, oh, like these guys are ninjas, whatever. We're not going to group with these guys. These guys suck, whatever. Uh, as part of that too, you kind of had like a kill on sight list uh, was my understanding, right? And then you, you had Team Ice and Blood Legion and uh, a bunch of these really good horde kills uh, on Illidan back in Vanilla 2. So... That it was kind of a meme. The die blacklist was the die blacklist was kind of a meme on Illidan. Uh, Illidan was a server notorious for the amount of drama and ridiculous things that happened there. Uh, it's cool, right, to to watch and kind of like point and laugh at, right? But it's at the same time, it's just kind of like okay, <laughs> I guess this can get kind of absurd. They got to the point where they made their own website called Illadrama.com, and it was a it was an off-site forum. So that they could basically talk about things and they could do things uh, related to their server. And this was back in like 2004 or 5. I, I'm sure it was made in like 2005 or 6. I can't remember. But Illadrama 
was made off site because you had the server forums on the WoW website, but it was moderated by by Blizzard and your account was linked to it and all this stuff. Uh, they made that, I'm sure, just to basically be able to handle their own stuff. Okay, <clears throat> so just lost my stuff real quick. So here's what I wanted to talk about today is I think people talking about a blacklist and having like a public blacklist is not a good idea. Okay. Whenever I was raiding in raid three on uh, private server stuff on YouTube, I had one of my officers send me a list of people that he was not going to group with in ZG, right? He, he literally had a list of people that he was not going to group with in ZG. And he's like, this is my blacklist for ZG. Refuse to group with these guys, right? Because they cause problems. Uh, they're uh, annoying for whatever reason, right? They're slow, this or that. They're they're pulling extra packs. They're wiping the raid. And I looked at the list and it's literally like, it's, it's like 10 people in our own guild. <laughs> so this ends up being one of those things this ends up being one of these things that, uh, again, it happens, but this wasn't public, <laughs> right? Having a public blacklist like this, and if he had gone and publicly been like parading around that these players suck, I don't like these guys, this or that, then it would have had other people, it would have had other people in the guild or other players on the server uh, treating them negatively negatively for things that you know what it's it's fine if like you're um uh, if, if you're not as good of a player as somebody else that's fine right that's one thing now if you're like a bad person if you're if you're a jerk and you're not right to the community people around you that's another thing right so this is something that uh and here's what i wanted to load up and talk about today and this is something that olsting made he, he sent this to me earlier today and I, uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this, right? Uh, having a, having a website, right? I, I think having a website to basically have a, a public blacklist where you can have people go in and basically good boy points, bad boy points, whatever, and basically try and basically try and like ruin somebody with whatever community people you have, right? Imagine if, Imagine if I don't like somebody, right? Imagine if I don't like somebody as a streamer or whoever with however many viewers. And I'm like, you know what? F this guy. I, I don't like this. This guy killed his odd S fan. Okay. And, and I, I like downvote myself, right? Or downvote the guy or upvote the guy, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty, I think there's too much potential for manipulation and there's too many people playing the game. To, to be able to ha like handle this properly. Uh, I think when Olsting made this, I, I don't think this is something that is, uh, I, I don't think it was malicious, right? But this right here is exactly what, um, this right here is exactly kind of what people were trying to make a big deal about what Soda Poppin said for. Like because, because basically having like a public blacklist and you're sitting there and basically you're attacking other people and this and that, or like somebody can go on there and just for whatever reason, there, there's no accountability, right? And that's kind of what this all boils down to, right? Whether it's manipulating it by being somebody with a large following, whether it's uh, random people just going on there and just, no, 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 don't like this guy. This guy won a piece of loot over me. I don't like him, right? I think it's not right. Uh, I think that this kind of is akin to the the instant satisfaction instant gratification, instant results system nowadays of like basically being able to instantly report somebody, whether it's a game of League of Legends or me being like, you know what? Who's this guy? Owen? F. Owen. Report player for whatever, right? I, I, I don't like that, right? I, I, think, uh, I think this is something that's probably not good. So, yeah, I, I think... I think that blacklists are fine, like having a guild blacklist or, or like a, you know, whatever community you're part of, guild, friend group, whatever, right? Um, it might be like a guild alliance blacklist, right? These are things that are natural and these are things that are going to happen because you're going to hear about certain people who are basically jerks and, and people who um, they, they are, are not good people to group with and then you find out why, right? This is something that's naturally going to happen. However... 
I, I think something public like this, although like I, I'm, I'm sure Olsen, I, I like, I'm, I'm sure you put a good amount of work into this, all that stuff. I, I don't want to take that away from you, but I, I think something like this is not only, not only kind of a bad thing for the game, but I think that even if this existed and people were to use it, I think that you'd have to look at it and be like, you can't really, there's no accountability. So you can't really look at anything like this. Right. Um, that's how I feel. You're doing a stream. They list you in mass flag. You're screwed. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it, it's, it's almost like a social, like, like a public, like, I, I don't know. It's like a social public social standing, which is just kind of weird. Right now we're always going to meme about the blacklist. We don't run with this guy is different than nobody run with this guy. Yeah, exactly. Chinese social point system. Do they have that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not familiar. But um. But yeah, well, classic have an ignore list like in retail. Yeah, yeah, there's ignore list. If you don't, if you don't like it, right? If if you don't, if you don't like to hear somebody talk or you don't enjoy being with somebody, then I I, I do think you have an ignore list for that, right? If somebody is is making a fuss and trade chat just nonstop, and you're just like, okay, this guy's being rude or. Uh, making like whatever remarks that you don't want to hear. You have an ignore list for that. You also have 23 Tango Charlie for gifted subs. Tango Charlie, thank you for the gifted subs, man. Thank you for the five gifted. Look at that. So please remove that blacklist. Well, I didn't make this. I, Saskia, I didn't make this. I'm saying uh, Olsting made this website. What I'm saying is like, I, I don't think this is something good for the, the environment of the game, right? That's uh, That's my point. So... Oh, yeah, I think it's just you just ignore people and move on. So Warren, what's up, dude? It's Raider IRO score on Classic. Well, here's the thing. Classic is going to have logs and stuff, right? Uh, I don't think... I think... because why, why is Classic going to have logs? Because they, they had it on private servers, right? Um, now, the log website on private servers is, is really, really bugged, and it doesn't go back very far because there was legacy players... Or sorry, there was, there was legacy logs and realm players, right? They had two different things. And... What happened is legacy logs. You had legacy logs and realm players. Two different logging websites, right? They went together and they merged into legacy players, right? And this is basically to make a better website or whatever. Uh, but because of the nature of like data manipulation, just the difficulty of having like all these different things from different, uh, all, all these different sources of data from different private servers, from different raids, all that stuff imported through an add-on, uh, there's going to be a lot of bugs, right? I remember at one point it said the top DPS rep paladin was, at one point, like I was the top DPS rep paladin on a, on a certain fight and, or no, no, I was the second top DPS, right? And then the top DPS was an undead mage, but it was listed as a rep pally. And I was like, wait, what? It, it, it didn't make any sense, right? The website's naturally going to have bugs like that. Um, now, with that being said, oh, another thing, too, is they, they didn't have imported realm players and they didn't have imported legacy logs uh, retroactively into this, as far as I know, because none of the logs. Now, we didn't log regularly. Uh, whenever we raided in BWL and MC, but uh, anything that we ha we did have here uh, doesn't seem to be on this website. So like for me, this didn't really, I, I think legacy players didn't really pick up until after my ban. So yeah. Why'd you need paint for this? For my brain. Uh, sometimes it's easier for me to explain something if I draw something out while I'm talking about it. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm out right now. I can be on a couple hours talking more about this with you. But my plan is to create accounts so people can create their own private blacklist that others can see. The public one is more for fun. Yeah, but but what I'm thinking, and, and like like I said, I I'm, I don't want to take anything away from you. Uh, I, I don't want to take anything away from you, Olsen, and the effort and all, all this stuff that you put into it. But I I do think that something like this is probably bad for the the environment, the community, the game, uh, in in my opinion. So, <clears throat> how, how do you guys feel about how do you guys feel about blacklists? Are you interested in how European servers start classic? Some comment. Uh, what do you mean, BT Twitch or B Twitch? Complete trash if it's public. I don't care. <laughs> Hate them. Blacklist bad. 
as I buy a tablet. I, I will buy a tablet so so you can actually read what I'm writing a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I I will I will get a I will get a tablet so I can do that. I think public pillory is usually a pretty bad idea. Um, yeah, so I, I think basically like like it just comes down to that. It, it just comes down to. It just comes down to basically whether it's public or not, right? You're allowed to not like people. You're allowed to, um, you're you're allowed to basically say as a guild, like, hey guys, don't group with these guys, or hey guys, you see somebody in this guild, this guild causes problems and stuff, kill on sight list. Incredibly dumb, and the fans of big streamers and guilds will abuse it. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the way I see it too, right? I, I think it can be abused by anybody. Right. I, I think, I mean, I think whether it's, it's big streamers or whatever, and not even streamers, it's, it's their communities, right? It, it's not necessarily like their fault, you know? Um, but yeah, why chat on screen faster? I don't know. Kind of weird. So there's so many different scenarios that someone could spitefully destroy someone's reputation when they've done nothing wrong. Yeah. And, and generally speaking, whenever this happens on a server and so, Oh, this guy's a ninja in trade chat. Like, I don't know why it, it seems that it seems that it's almost never, it almost never happens to where like somebody calls somebody a ninja and they're not actually a ninja and like it sticks, right? Like sometimes people will say that and it's like, did you ninja this? No. Oh, okay. Right. Because people will know. It's too toxic and socially manipulated. See China or the episodes of Community and Black Mirror about social rankings. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know anything about that, but um, uh, so I don't really want to speak on it, but I, I do think whenever you have like basically public social rankings, it's, it's, it's probably not a good idea. Um, that's, that's kind of the way that I see it. So if it's private, it's fine, but public hell no. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Joke him. Thank you for the Twitch prime. Appreciate that, dude. If anything, it'll encourage more trolls chasing bad boy points. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to, to bring some people that right. Uh, it's funny when everybody gets annoyed with the guy spamming about the ninja looter, completely forgetting about the ninja. Well, yeah, sometimes, sometimes people complaining about the ninja item get more annoying. Like, I remember being on, on like, somebody, like, just, so-and-so's a ninja, and just, like, repeatedly spamming trade chat with it. And everyone's like, dude, now everybody hates you more than the ninja, right? If you say something, if you, if you say, hey, this happened, whatever, then, like, people will know, right? But then whenever people spam relentlessly, it's like, dude, I, like... The ninja was bothering you, okay? But now, everybody in trade chat is annoyed with you because you're just spamming about it nonstop. <laughs> so, like, you end up, uh, it, it, you've got to know how to say it, right? Uh, I feel like there'll be zero server community in classic. Most people are the BFI mindset, no realm community, and would not even consider calling out someone. Uh, no, actually, I, I don't think so. I, I think how the game, the game, I don't want to say this. Um... J48, thank you for the Twitch Prime. The game manifests itself in a way that you you have you don't have to, but embracing the social dynamics in the game is going to be an easier path than not doing it that way. And I think people in general will always take the path of least resistance in order to get what they want to do done. So, in Retail WoW, whenever I can go and load up a LFR or whatever, okay, if I want to go do something like that and just do a raid, that's path of least resistance, right? Uh, if, I, if the only way for me to see a raid at all is to try and join a guild and try and get in a run and, and do all that, then that's the way that I'm going to do it. So... When the path of least resistance puts you in maybe a little bit uncomfortable situation, because I, I think it's no secret, right? People on the internet, uh, not everybody, but people on the internet, they, they might have a little bit of social anxiety, right? People who play video games all day, they might have a little bit of social anxiety. They just, they just prefer to be in the comfort of their own home playing games and that kind of stuff, right? Maybe being with their online friends. And that's totally fine, right? But a natural product of that is, okay, I can just queue up and just play. I don't have to make friends or whatever. Great, right? It might be a slightly uncomfortable situation for you to actually have to go out and make friends with people, but what ends up happening is getting out of your comfort zone a little bit gives you a little bit more of a rewarding playing experience and will keep you invested into the game. 
I remember, I remember back in the day whenever, uh, whenever I quit WoW. I quit WoW not because of, not 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 because of well, not only because of how the game was going, right? I didn't only quit because I didn't like the direction the game was going. I quit because of this, because friends. I was kind of like this at the beginning of Wrath. I quit, right? I came back after it was, I, I quit at the beginning of my senior year, right? I had football and uh, this kind of stuff, right? American Keiko and a ball, right? Hand egg. I had football and all this stuff going on. Then I came back towards the end of the year, right? The end of the school year. And whenever I came back, uh, sure, I did not like the social stigma behind achievements, right? Link your achievement if you want to get in the run, bro. I did not like that. I did not like the emphasis on gear score. What's your gear score? What's your item level? I did not like that. How rep paladins played, they were really strong, but it, 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 I didn't like how they played. Right? It, it just felt a little bit, it felt like more clunky and stuff to me. Because I was so used to playing rep for the last two expansions, which is funny, right? It's pretty ironic. <clears throat> Despite all this, this is the main reason why I didn't keep playing is because by the time I had come back, almost everyone I knew that I had played with in vanilla. Puma Gamer 91 just drew sub for five BC, months. Hey, S fan, when am I getting my S fan shirt? It's been almost three months, my friend. That's a long time. Uh, DM me your order number and I'm going to check on that because something might have gotten lost. That's a really long time. Yeah, something might have gotten lost. DM me your order number. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be redoing how uh, how the the uh, store orders and stuff go, and uh, or like I'm gonna be making a new store. Basically, I'm I'm in the process of working on that. But uh, yeah, that that sounds like a big mistake. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM me on Discord your order number, and I'll get it figured out. So. Well, no, sometimes it gets lost in the mail, too. Uh, that's That has happened before. But, okay. Anyway, as I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> put S-Fan on the blacklist, yeah. Uh, anyway, as I was saying. Vanilla. Device X just resub for 13 okay. months. Less than one month until classic Pogu. <laughs> Thanks, Device. Thanks for the 13 months, dude. Thank you, man. So, um, so yeah, as I was saying. This Vanilla through Burning Crusade, all the people that I had played with during this time, almost all of them had quit. Like, nobody was actively playing anymore. So, whenever I was there, I'm, I'm sitting here, level 80. I can't get into a run because I don't have enough gear score. I don't have any achievements to, to show that I, I know how to play the game. And on top of all that, I didn't have anybody to turn to to play the game with. Uh, and this is at the end of Wrath. I, I kind of felt like ostracized and I was like, well, this isn't the same game that I used to play. Right. That's why I always say like to me, Wrath was kind of the beginning of the end. And I, I do think that I think that Cataclysm is whenever the game, like the hard line of whenever the game changed significantly. But to me, Wrath was kind of the beginning of the end for those reasons. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but that, that's just kind of how it went. The Chigru donated three dollars. Hey, his fan, you are a hairy dude. I have a question. When you are eating food with your shirt off, how do you manage to not get food stuck in your chest hair? It's kind of nice to have food right there if you get hungry, though. What are your thoughts? Let me show you something. It's a very good question, Gachi Guru. Uh, it very much relates to, to Daily Dose of Classic like we're doing today. Um... <clears throat> Where is it? Hmm. 
frick? I thought I posted this picture. I guess I didn't. In a nutshell, yes, it is nice to have food for later. Yeah, it is nice to have food safe for later. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks for the $3. Yeah, Buzzkill. Sorry. Um, also, J48, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I missed that a second ago. Thank you, dude. So, yeah, that's that's kind of how I felt, right? And uh, was it soft to you? You said you had a similar experience. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people, right? I, I think a lot of people had a, had a similar experience to that, which is uh, pretty unfortunate, right? But, but that's just kind of how it goes. Um, that's how you feel with BFA. Yeah, I think now, now there's systems in the game B, uh, in, in BFA that you can kind of catch up more solo, right? But it goes back to what I was saying earlier, and this is kind of what the difference is. It, it's it's about people wanting to take the path of least resistance, right? Like if you have if you have water, right? Let's say you have a let's say you have a hole in the ground, right? And this hole in the ground, you're filling it with water. Apparently, that's how water looks. And you have a hole that's this big and you have a hole that's this big, more water is going to pour through this hole, right? Some will go through this hole, right? But there's least resistance this way, right? Yeah, this is classic. This is classic water. This is more classic than classic water. Wait, what is so hard to understand about this? Wait, why are you guys question marking? It looks like a penis? And no, it doesn't. Kai Morta just resubbed for 10 months. What? Happy birthday, brother. Did you pick up my laundry? Kai Morta, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that, dude. No, so so what I'm saying is like my dad says the same thing about this. See, Jake Rittersby, you have a you have an intelligent father. Okay. What I'm saying is let's say let's say you have something that flows, right? You have something that flows, okay? If if you have an easier path to go one way, more more stuff is gonna flow through the easier path, right? You have a bigger opening, right? Are you his father? Maybe. Have you guys call me dad? Well, and and uh, okay for the for the I I know that paddle use resistance applies. No water will go through the small home hole. I know, but that's not what I was saying in this specific example. Some people are still going to do it the hard way, right? Through the small hole, some people are still going to do it the hard way, but more people are going to go through the big the the easy way, right? Wait, what? What, what is this so hard to understand? <laughs> this is not this is not hard to understand, guys. Frick. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying. Um, I, I think that that's part of the reason why classic wow is, uh, and, and not just classic, but burning crusade too. Um, uh, it makes for like memorable experiences that kind of let you sink your teeth into the game and, um, uh, kind of let you sink your teeth into the game and it, it keeps you hooked because of the people that are there, right? Because of the community, right? Obviously like the design of the game and stuff like that is good, right? People say like, oh, like it's nostalgia or this and that. It's not really game content. The game content is great. 23 Tango Charlie donated $5. The graphics the MSI toaster you're using is just amazing. I'm going to order one. Wig reveal. Thanks, Tar Thanks, Tango Charlie. Thank you for the $5. Appreciate that. So, yeah. That's kind of, uh, that, that's, <laughs> that's kind of the point of what I'm saying, right? Is whenever you took that away from people, like me, that's whenever I lost... Uh, that's, that's whenever I lost interest in, uh, in the game at the end of Wrath. So, anyways, guys, I said I was going to keep it a little bit shorter. Today we talked about the blacklist. Uh, we talked about some things. Generally speaking, like, I want these, I want these videos to be kind of more discussion-based. These Daily Dose of Classic videos be a little bit more discussion-based. Sometimes I'll come up with a topic and we'll talk about stuff. A uh, big thing today was, was talking about the blacklist. Uh, stream is not over. Stream is not over, guys. It's just the Daily Dose of Classic that I'm putting on my YouTube channel. So, if you guys missed it, youtube.com slash sfantv. Check me out on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, twitch.tv slash sfantv. And 
I'll see you guys tomorrow.